up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be going over the new Summit Off-Road wheels, as well as the Rigid Ultra Swing. As you can see behind me, it's all finished. Uh, got everything set up. All the Summit wheels are on, including the spare tire. And I'm loving the Ultra Swing so far. I just love having a full-size spare tire on the back, but as well being able to use it to swing the bike rack out because I don't have a swing out bike rack. And then I can access everything in the back where before I'd have to take all the bikes off and then take the bike rack and fold it down. So super pumped with how everything has turned out. Uh, couldn't be happier. And I'll take you along for a tour right now. All right guys, so we are doing the Ultra Swing install today. Super excited, just pulled it out of the box. I was expecting way more of an installation and like putting things together, but it's almost ready to go right out of the box, which is super awesome. Just gotta put on the mounting plate that the wheel attaches to. So when I go to put it into the hitch, I just gotta grease up the Ultra Wedge and you will need like a 12 inch extension and a three quarter inch socket. And you're gonna go at it through and yeah, it's gonna be, it should be fairly easy. I have all that stuff. Um, so we'll get it on and then we'll keep finish mounting the plate that the wheel attaches to. And we can worry about the uh, Rotopax mount later because I don't have Rotopax yet. And I cannot wait to get that thing out of the back of the Lexus, finally have some room freed up and just see how it looks. Also, I went biking the last two days. It would have been sweet to have the ultra swing on already because with my bike rack then it will swing out and every time i have to take my bike off and fold the rack down just to get the back door open a lot of the bike racks that work with like bigger mountain bikes don't always fold out like the ones i've seen 
you like hang the frame on they're more for like city bikes road bikes and stuff like that so having being able to use the rack that i have and not having to go buy a really expensive one and put that money into the ultra swing is fantastic because it's exactly what i want so let's get this install started inside bolt that adjusts the wedge as much as you can without the bolt coming out and then you're you can get it into the hitch receiver so I did that got that it wasn't quite loose enough so I kept like lifting it back up and then readjusting it now it's in there and like adjust and tighten down the wedge which uh, prevents it from wobbling which is why it looks so good and it's so functional off-road uh, versus like most bike racks and stuff they're always wobbling around so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. All right, so Rigid says if you have like 32 inch small tires, you're gonna use the lowest holes, 33 to 34 inch tires, kind of the middle holes. And for 35 inch tires, which I'm running, the top, the very top holes, on the back and you're gonna go through the back side with the bolt and the washer and then you're gonna have the nut on the side you can see from the outside and you're going to torque those down to I believe 75 foot-pounds uh, super easy four bolts we'll knock that out real quick so we can throw the tire on make sure it all fits and see how it looks I might take out the rear uh, spare tire underneath now, and then I might be able to bring the ultra swing a little closer to the back of the rear door, which would look good. So I might do that. Uh, but right now I have to go to a video shoot. And after that, tomorrow, I'm gonna do like a cinematic kind of sequence and show it off, show how it works. And I would really wanna get it off road, hopefully soon. Uh, works just super busy, but obviously if I do that before this video is done, I'll include it. As you can see behind me, it's all finished. Uh, got everything set up. All the Summit wheels are on, including the spare tire. And I'm loving the Ultra Swing so far. I'll overlay some B-roll clips as well so you can kind of check it out. I got it to sit a little closer to the Lexus. Um, I might be able to make it sit even closer, but I'd have to drill new holes since this is the multi-fit. I just love having a full-size spare tire on the back, but as well being able to use it to swing the bike rack out because I don't have a swing out bike rack. And then I can access everything in the back where before I'd have to take all the bikes off and then take the bike rack and fold it down. So super pumped with how everything has turned out. Uh, couldn't be happier. And I'll take you along for a tour right now, uh, show you some like B-roll clips, but super happy with the wheels. The offset on the wheels is minus 25, and I used to have minus 38, but I actually find there's a lot of advantages to that slightly less aggressive offset. Um, it just drives better on the road. The steering wheel comes back to me after a turn a little bit easier. It's easier on all of the components, I think. So you can have the rack in all sorts of different positions. So I usually use this second notch here, and this allows the door to fully open. But what's nice is Rigid has the classic hitch that comes through. 
Uh, obviously, 10,000 pound towing capacity, so you can still tow stuff like a boat or a trailer and stuff like that. I think I measured there's about six inches between the back of the rigid ultra swing and my ladder. So I can use the ladder. I can also put some roto packs or something back there. Without further ado, let's open up the back and I will show you that it does not contact. So now it's nice because I still have my bike on. I still have the spare tire on. I can swing it out in, I don't know, five, 10 seconds. And I have full access to the back of the GX. I might as well go over some of the uh, stuff I've done to the back of the GX as it's been a while since I've done a video. All right, so a little bit of a closer look. This is the table from Bison Gear. I absolutely love it. My camp stove slash barbecue fits right on here and then the propane can kind of sit here. Still have a little bit of extra space, but then that also frees up room for this, which I originally made and designed as a cutting board. So now I have a cutting board here and then the camping barbecue here, which is super nice. And some of the smoke kind of gets more out of the vehicle rather than it kind of going into the vehicle, obviously. Um, I might do a video just on this rear setup because there's a lot to go over. I know I did one in the past, but a lot has changed. I'm running this, it's usually like bolted down, but this Plano tub, I love this thing. All my spare tools are in here, as well as extra recovery gear, spare food, a little bit of camping stuff. And I just love how rigid it is. You can sit on it if you forget a chair out camping or something like that. Um, I gotta outfit the molly panels with a little bit more stuff but one of these things, uh, one of these lights are on it and it's just a magnet. And then now you have camp lights. So that's super handy. And then you can just turn it off and it just sticks right back to the Molly panel. Uh, first aid kit is on that side. Fridge works awesome. It's great for those long days on set like video or photo shoots and stuff like that or camping obviously. I could use a little bit bigger one for camping, if I'm honest. I think this is only a 15 or 20 liter, which is not a lot. Maybe one or two days it'll get you through. But yeah, super happy with how this is all turning out and how it kind of all flows together. Um, I think this combination of companies, the stuff from Bison Gear and then the rigid Ultra Swing and being able to use my bike rack and then have a spare tire, it's all kind of working well together and that's what I love and obviously it took some time to think this through and which companies I wanted to go with but I'm super happy with the outcome. Um, for those of you that are going to ask, yes there is a JW car tire carrier that obviously they make for the Lexus GX. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it and I think that's a great option too. Obviously the tire is going to sit closer to the door and it mounts on the door. Uh, you will have to drill holes, but I mean, usually if you're putting a spare tire on the back of your GX, you're pretty far down the road uh, with modifications. So it's not a big deal. I just did the ultra swing because it allowed me to swing the bike rack out and I have bikes on the back all summer long and it allowed me to carry the full size spare. And then lastly, it allows me to take it to another vehicle in the future. Uh, I love the GX, I don't think it's going anywhere, but it's just nice to know that you can take this and put it on another vehicle. Um, and so all your money isn't wasted and you just get, or you have to sell it later down the road. So, and then yeah, you just kind of close it up and then you can put the pin in or do the handle. I'm not sure which one they suggest to do, but I usually put the pin in first. And then I go around and just close this handle. I'll actually show you. So, and then the last step is to just uh, close up the handle, kind of clamps it together, and yeah, you're back in business. So it literally takes like 10 seconds to put it back to where it was, and you don't have to take the bike rack off, and you don't have to take the bike off if you don't want. I know some of the more expensive racks can like fold down and stuff, but that's also kind of a pain in the butt and they're very expensive. And then you're just left with your expensive bike rack where like at least this way I can have the ultra swing and my cheap bike rack for now. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna go into more detail on more of the products I'm running in the next video. Maybe I'll go over that Bison Gear stuff in a little bit more detail, what's in the tub in the back. I'll go over these lights. They're from Vivid Lumen out in Kelowna, Canada. 
Uh, love them so far. Still have to wire them up. <laughs> Life has been crazy lately. And yeah, other than that, I have like a little light bar on the back. Uh, I, th I think it's a 14 inch light bar. It's kind of a chase light that I wired in, uh, which is super nice. And that's also from Vivid Lumen. And I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff I'm forgetting. I've been cleaning up the whole front end. I think that's pretty much it. Matt helped me redo the grill. The logo's in a bronze color and he kind of color matched the emblem in the grill as well. Uh, I've been cleaning up kind of behind the bumper, trimming more stuff, repainting everything. Um, you know, just touching it up because it gets driven pretty hard and the winters here are pretty rough. Hopefully you found this video helpful and entertaining and I'll catch you in the next one.